Yeah. Young girl, if you don't want the man, left him, no take nothing from him, no take more than a one hundred dollar, me never say a thousand dollar. Yeah. A hundred dollar, one little five hundred dollar. But for you go take him money, he big fifty thousand, he big hundred thousand. He will look for you and kill you, know, girl. <laughs> so no bother with that, you know. <laughs> More than them woman, them think more puppy more than them woman. You know, see the pussy, them a parasite, them a leech. I love me name just to get a power. You know, see the one of them a parasite, them a leech. <laughs> Hey girl, you can't style me, my mama. Why not you check it out? Brand new man and next. Fine, buy me more up here. Who no see blood clot? The new Dexter Dabs. Dexter Dabs 4.0. Oh. I saw me call him. Me no call him 450. Me call him Dexter Dabs 4.0. Viewers and subscribers, welcome back to another update. So we have Popcorn finally responded to Version and Valiant in a new track entitled Forward. Where my use vibes cartel for this them up people. You wanna stick around for that. Also coming up we see where 450 single Wild and Rich you know hit number one in 12 countries. Yo, it a going with a bag of things and we see him have a open verse challenge and yo, it a get a lot of forward so we're going to show you what's going on for that We also see we are pretty than I say like, you know, 450 is the new Dexadaps You not really call him 450, he's like the Dexadaps 4.0 before we get into all these topics, please remember to leave a like on this video, very important. Also subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed as yet. Turn on the notification bell and leave your thoughts down in the comment section. So Popcorn released his new single entitled Forward, where my use vibes cartel style with this version and Valiant, I would say people, because you know, they were the two main people who came in the media and try to style up popcorn in the worst way yo valiant to say him not show no homage to nobody where did that hold him back and version did i say popcorn is the youth where him bad mind him not want to see nobody you know bigger than him so would i say a them popcorn this in in this one them think about papi more than them woman them think about papi more than them woman so Popcorn basically I said them think about Papi more than how them think about them woman You know Vibes Cartel, he basically remix Vibes Cartel song Dancehall Hero Because in that song you know Vibes Cartel I say If him not sh them can him And at the same style you know Popcorn using in this one for this them So Popcorn I make them know say Hatile he not them yai lash Yo I him need no stop watch Popcorn sister did come out squid and I say yo whenever everybody want a forward when them want to get popular in the media and get them name to start call I really popcorn name them live pun so you know basically this song is about that you know popcorn basically a style back him haters them and I diss them everybody would have call up a name one foot pan and make one foot pan and yes, yeah in the love man you know this is a very creative song you know by popcorn even though it's a vibes cartel remix really because you know them turn the vibes cartel a fire when it come to you know dance and music but leave your honest thoughts and opinion in the comment section about this song tell me if you like it to learn to go write it song hey girl you can't tell me my mama why not you check it out brand new man and nuts fine by me so that's 450 single entitled the wild and rich you know that's currently trending at number two on youtube it was at you know number one massacre song take it over but nonetheless you know it had trend in many other countries people it is trending in jamaica right now and tiktok one of the biggest songs so it's like a love triangle two people in love yo them want to move on them can't move on them a fight them a argue and you know a lot of regret in it yo a bag of things it has people out I'm gonna read an article regarding to this. So it goes like this. 450's Wild and Rich single hits number one in 12 countries. Dancehall artist 450 has become one of the most consistent artists this year and it has been paying off with significant growth in his streaming numbers and fan base 
and a steady increase in bookings, the hit maker secured charting success with his recent single Wild and Rich, which was the talk of the town in Trinidad and is gearing up to take things to another level in the UK. The week they produced Wild and Rich quickly found favor with 450 fans and the dynamic visual directed video trended for a number of days on YouTube. Since its release on November 3rd, the single has secured a number one chart placement on Apple Music in 12 countries thanks to its rise in popularity. 450 followed up with an Wild and Rich Openverse challenge on social media, allowing fans to create videos contributing original lyrics to the hit single. While bookings have increased by 450, his recent appearance in Trinidad and Tobago proved to be one for the books as he had fans singing his hits word for word during a headline worthy performance 450 will be closing off the month of november with his recent announced uk tour starting on november 18 sheffield birmingham bristol and landal will be singing along to his many hits so basically viewers and subscribers what this you know, article is saying that 450 is growing in fan base and in in streams you know basically might get bigger and bigger and his songs are getting good a lot of shows bookings and a lot of travel is going to be in the uk and so forth so big up to 450 and this you know him song are going good till i live my life i mean i lose sleep me no need you i mean you need we can tell you something to know i don't know why other people woman feel so about another man because you see if me then no way and see any girl at all me a go so bomb and i feel over no other man where i know me me kick down in bomb buckle. you can't come back on me yard with me girl you easy if you fuck no bomb buckle with your big wide hole stinking girl the wall i want to make on a man then disappointed you know now no wonder why man not react on you because no outdated and antiquated my friend who no say blood clot the new dexter daps dexter daps 4.0 oh. i say me call him me no call him 450 me call him dexter daps 4.0 who no say 4.0 oh, the wall i want to go and faint when you not go stop girl just a faint your fuck room a ground blast Girl jump a ground. When me look, man broke fight in a car and a over there. So 450 a sing your fuck. You know, say that girl your crosses. You know, say me want you to go. Oh, you don't know, say you make a fight broke over there. So 450. I want to give a blood clot back across your yes, corner. You cannot make my girl a left me. You make my girl in a dance with other man. Me come in the con con see my girl with other man. Me bust up my girl face and bust up your face 450. Your yeah, problem! Me want Dexter does about the same thing. Una crisis! You will own all the whole of them stinking dirty yamed gala. All of the gala will read 450 a yamed and suck with gal. A beer who do the wife is done in on the throat like gum to blood clad. Everyone on the look of dirty gal. We are run up and dumb boy your finger on a pussy to 450. You will own a junker and dog shit. You see me, I say, go and go suck with no mother. Because even if you can't go on road, go go feed to over a man we don't even see you, we don't even want to know. You're not fucking idiot. You all make fight a block. 450. Good Jesus. See, oh Jesus. Uh -oh, I would have kicked you. So now people have this letter from Ninja Man from behind bars because you know Ninja Man always been writing his letter from behind bars and have Jojo Mac reading them out. So basically in this one Ninja Man addressing the government system, the prime minister, you know everybody who in power, he might talk about the condition of the prison and why would I want to change what would be better. He might talk up for the elderly prisoner them and say yo, they need to let them out of incarceration now because when they keep them in there so long, it's like when they go out back and um, in society, them not really have no use for themselves and them have got to start over from scratch again and him just a speak out to everybody him want a better life for prisoners and so so i'm gonna play this audio with ninja man speaking about everything i tell me you think about it leave your thoughts down in the comment section ninja man's letter to the jamaican prime minister security minister the opposition leader and other interested parties compiled and narrated by jojo mac I am Desmond Ballantyne, popularly known as dancehall artist Ninja Man. 
I am addressing this letter to you in hopes that you will take into consideration the proposals I am presenting as a citizen of this great island, Jamaica. As you are no doubt aware, I am currently incarcerated in the Jamaican prison system. Being incarcerated has given me first-hand insights into the same system. Thus, I would like to take the opportunity to present a proposal to you on behalf of thousands of inmates who are a part of the system and by large the Jamaican people. I believe being incarcerated should not be a hindrance to me or anyone else in the system contributing to Jamaica in a positive way. Therefore, I would greatly appreciate you giving thought to the following, and that it does not get buried in the recesses of your minds. Firstly, so many of our citizens are in jail for various crimes, but they are not all criminals. While we understand that a prison system must be in place, I do believe that the system, in the interest of all Jamaicans, should find a way to rehabilitate those who are at some point scheduled to return to the general populace. It is imperative that the powers that be see the them for who they were before they became the people who got involved in crimes or the situations that placed them in this system. The men and women who are incarcerated should be given some hope that when they return to society they will have options or more than likely a great number of them will return to the very thing that got them locked up in the first place, maybe worse. When a man or woman loses all sense of hope for self-reliance, their mental state is no longer normal. The need for survival is what will prompt them. Therefore, the general populace will no doubt be at risk. If a system is put into place to counteract these potential outcomes, everyone involved will be able to breathe a lot easier. When melancholy sets in, no one knows where the axe will fall. The only thing we can be sure of is that it will. So considering the options that I am proposing to you will ultimately be in the best interest of all the citizens of Jamaica. One element that is missing from the system in Jamaica is an incident to rehabilitate those who have been incarcerated. We cannot deny that no one was born a criminal. All babies were born innocent beings. The system created criminals, whether through their upbringing or the ills of society. It is imperative that we create a system to help the people who are locked up to achieve self-reliance. We have great tradesmen, mechanics, bodywork professionals, carpenters, furniture makers, etc. in institutions across Jamaica who simply wake up in the mornings, take a shower, get fed, play football, and get back into lockup. There are a lot of unused skills that are going to waste. I feel that I, being institutionalized, should be more than just for punishment. I am not here to buy guns or form gangs. I'm here to change the mindset of the youth, and I'm asking the government to assist me with restarting a rehabilitation program that I'm willing to spearhead. I have already spoken with the superintendent and the deputy commissioner of the prison and requested a meeting for both. After that meeting, I would like to request a meeting with the Minister of Security, Minister of Justice, the Chief Justice, and the Prime Minister to be held at the prison institution. I would love if they could visit the institution so they can see firsthand what we are dealing with, so they can find ways and means to deal with the problems at hand. A huge percentage of the people inside these prison walls came in at an early age. Their best years are spent there. Their chances of making something good of themselves are tarnished. The the burden of the prison institution should not be placed on the citizens of Jamaica. We must find a way for the institution to maintain itself. Computer classes, technician classes, mechanical among other things should be implemented. There are furniture makers who could make furniture. The furniture could be put on the auction block by having a yearly auction. A system could be set up where the general public can have their vehicles repaired, painted, accessorized, etc. at a cost lower than what is being offered on the outside. The prisoners involved in these work programs could benefit from a percentage of the proceeds. The greater percentage goes into an account for the institution that could be used for repairing the buildings among other things. If the prisoner has a child, a portion of that could go to that child and a small percentage goes in an account for that prisoner. So when he leaves the institution, he will have something to give him a new start, thus reducing the risk of him going back into society penniless and resorting to crimes in order to survive. Jamaican people are very ambitious. If a man spent 10 or 15 years in prison, when he returns to the general population, he will see his peers who are well advanced with homes and vehicles and income while he has to start from scratch. If he gets a chance to improve on his skills while institutionalized and be able to have funds set aside for him for the work he did, it will give him
them an opportunity to move forward without having to commit another crime. Hence, the importance of rehabilitation should be foremost in our minds in order to reduce crime in the country and empower its citizens. The framework of the institution needs a reset. I will fight with every ounce of my bone, my blood, my life, my skin, my flesh, and my knowledge until we have an institution where, when youths are released, we can see them being rewarded for being the person they have become and not the person they used to be. I want to ask the Jamaican Human Rights Organization, what are you doing? There are some older inmates at General Penitentiary. A greater percentage of them are so old and they're sick and shaking, needing medical attention. They can no longer be a menace to society. They should be released from prison. Some have spent 30 or 40 years locked up and need medical attention. The General Penitentiary is overpopulated. Six feet by four feet wide cells are housing three to five men at any one time. Send on these older men to their families. They're not physically or mentally capable of resorting to any kind of crime. The human rights organization will need to step up to the plate and do their jobs effectively for the amelioration of the country in general. I am making this proposal, which will be set forth in a more professional manner for the people of Jamaica and not for any rewards. I do not expect to be praised. That's not my intent. I simply want to see Jamaica become a better place where its citizens can feel safe. In everything that we do, we can expect hiccups, but we must implement a program that will serve for the greater good. They say nothing beats a trial but a failure, but they also have another saying that if you try and fail, you should try again. We can impress upon the youth the importance of being a good citizen. In the 1980s election, which was a bloody one, I was on the front of a battlefield. Shabba Ranks and I became friends. There was a war going on between Tower Hill and Mar Road. Mar Road people did not like Shabba Ranks, as well as Tower Hill people did not like Ninja Man. I did not just do the song, Living on Free Food Ticket. I called a peace meeting between the two factors. I put on a peace dance at Seaward All Age School, the first time Kilimanjaro played at that venue. It was a life and death dance because a lot of people were afraid. But when the dance ended, there was full-fledged peace. We can build back a peaceful Jamaica. It's possible. I have been a man of peace all my life. People may want to call me a criminal, but I'm the first to say peace and the last to say war. I am the first to want to build my country and the last to break it down. The earthquake we got recently was a cry from Mother Earth that she's displeased with the way we are operating. We need to get back to putting God on the forefront because we are not living right. Father God has gone to prepare a place for us and leave Mother Earth to take care of us and we are disrespecting her every chance we get. Forget about climate change. It's the Earth crying out to us and we better take heed. It would be wise to initiate this effort by ceasing to disrespect the women of our society. A man is as weak as a branch of a dry tree, but that same man could be strengthened by a woman who is a root of that tree. So taking care of our women is paramount. I pray that everyone addressed in this letter will take its contents into consideration and move toward making that difference. I promise to elaborate more on these topics once my requests are honored. Thank you. I am Desmond Ballantyne, Ninja Man.